Victorian Hall. I work under the name of Cat Print Designs where I paint the silk. I live locally, which is King to St Michael, which is four miles outside of Chippenham. And we also have a shop in Chippenham called The Craft Company. And um, we're very much, myself and my daughter, craft orientated and our shop is full of crafts from craftspeople from around the world. But I specialise in silk, so I will hand paint and do the things like poppies, which I've done for the British Legion. Um, on more than one occasion and um, quite a few other things. Okay, my name is Paul O'Donnell. I work for a company called Wooden Things. It's uh, my wife and myself. And we make all these uh, wonderful wooden products, um, knitted and felted handbags. And we're from North Somerset. We're also members of the Wiltshire Guild of Craftsmen. Hello, I'm Tracy Winray. I'm from Norfolk, felt well in Norfolk, and I'm a ceramic artist. It's the third year that I've done the Chippen and Folk Festival, and it's been marvellous. What I'm doing here is weaving on what's called weaving sticks, which is a very simple thing. You just go up and down through the sticks until you get near the top and then you pull the sticks up a bit and it falls down onto the warp threads. I'm from a company named Fire and Fibre and we're from Oswestry. And this is our first time at Chippenham and we're enjoying it very much. Well, I'm a local lass and a, a blacksmith, and I've always wanted to be a blacksmith from the age of about 13. So I trained at Hereford Technical College, and then I went to the art college next door and did three years, sorry, two years on a national diploma course. And then I did three years at Farnham on the degree course. So I was offered an opportunity for um, a building on a farm to turn into a forge. And I said, thank you very much, yes, please. And I've been there, well, I will have been there 18 years, come the first of all. Right, well, I'm Colin Kendall. I'm from, I live in <laughs> Lancashire Bury, which is one of the satellite towns on, outside Manchester. Uh, I've been doing this for about 25 years and the folk festivals to sell them for the past 15. Um, I started making them but when I was, I was a teacher, I taught PE and I had a bad back injury and thought I wouldn't work again but I needed something to do when I was fit and I'd always had an interest in music so I started building these. I went to the College of Music in Leeds to learn how to do it properly where they taught me to build classical guitars which I wasn't really very interested in but I knew that it was a transferable skill. Um, and once I did my first classical guitar and built a few steel string guitars, people liked them. And I was able to carry on because they actually funded what then was a hobby. Um, and just recently, over the past 10, 15 years, it's become a full-time job. Because um, you've got two different sorts of zithers. You've got an ordinary zither, which is tuned like a harp. Yep. And you've got what's called a chord zither. 
where you've got chords on the left and notes on the right. So you play, so you play chords, at the same time as the melody, and the melody with your with your right hand to it. But this is this is comes more from the um, American Appalachian. Can you turn it that way so you can see it? Oh yeah, I was going to, I was, I was going to show you even more because yeah. if I sit on that chair down there, yeah. I'll play it for you. Excellent. So the, um, it comes from the Appalachian Mountains yeah. and the uh, people like the Carter family who did a lot of the, the gospel -y type songs and the way that they played it was like this. You can put it onto a table where it resonates more because of that heat, the feet. But for the purposes of here, it's easier to play it on my lap. So.